Hi guys, welcome back to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for watching. So in this video, I'm going to go over a disease process called myasthenia gravis. I want to encourage you, even if you are a pre-nursing student or you're still in high school or just starting nursing school but haven't gotten to this area in your classes, just to listen to the information because it'll make it so much easier for you to have a base knowledge. That way, by the time you get to class, you'll have a really good base foundation knowledge and you'll be able to focus on the lecture and ask a lot more intelligent questions. So I'm really happy to do this video for you and I really hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. So in this video, I will go over a quick description of the disease, signs and symptoms, common diagnostic and medical management of the disease. And I also created some NCLEX style questions for you. Myasthenia gravis is a neuromuscular disorder causing weakness and abnormal fatigue of the muscles. It is an autoimmune disease thought to be caused by antibodies being produced, which interfere with the communication at the neuromuscular junction. The most common sign and symptom of the disease includes progressive muscle weakness. Other symptoms include abnormal fatigue of the skeletal muscle that controls the eyes and eyelid movement, facial expressions, chewing, talking, swallowing, and breathing. Neck and limb movements may also be affected. The exact cause of this disease is unknown. However, there is a slight genetic predisposition. Diagnostic tests include a tensilin test, which is an IV injection of a medication that prevents the breakdown of acetylcholine, also known as ACH. A client is diagnosed if their muscular strength gets stronger after the injection. Another diagnostic test is an electromyography, which helps show the electrical activity of the muscle tissues. A blood chemistry study can show elevated serum and t acetylcholine antibody titer. And lastly, a chest x-ray can show thymoma, which is an uncommon tumor or cancer of the thymus gland. There is no cure for myasthenia gravis. However, drug treatments have improved prognosis and allows clients to live a relatively normal life, with the exception of exacerbations. Exacerbations in following the respiratory system may be life-threatening. This is referred to it as a myasthenic crisis and may be severe enough to require mechanical ventilation. Treatments include anticholinesterase drugs, which prevent destruction of neuromuscular transmitter acetylcholine. Some names of this type of medication include physostigmine and neostigmine. Also, immunosuppressive therapy, including corticosteroids, are also used. Other treatments include IV infusion of immunoglobin G during acute relapse or exacerbations. Emulabin is infused when a client is injected with normal antibodies from donated blood that temporarily changes the way their immune system operates. Plasmapheresis is also a treatment, which is the removal of blood plasma from the body by withdrawing the blood, separating it into blood cells, and then transfusing the cells back into the bloodstream. Another treatment includes a thymectomy, which means the removal of the thymus. Just a quick tip, whenever you see ectomy at the end of a word, this means the surgical removal of. And in severe cases, a tracheotomy may be necessary. Now let's look at some NCLEX style questions. Remember, review as many questions as possible when you are in nursing school and also studying for the NCLEX exam. Here's the first question. The nurse is caring for a client with myasthenia gravis. The nurse knows that which sign and symptoms should the nurse be concerned with? A, the client needs periodic rest after activity. B, after swallowing pills, the client coughs for several minutes. C, the client states that they have difficulty closing and opening their eyes. Or D, the client states that the sun makes their ex exacerbations worse. A major complication with myasthenia gravis is respiratory distress, chewing and swallowing difficulties, and food aspiration into the lungs, all of which could lead to severe respiratory distress and pneumonia. And coughing after swallowing pills is a sign of aspiration, Therefore, the answer would be B. The other answer options are expected with this disease process. Next question. The nurse is caring for a client newly diagnosed with, with myasthenia gravis. The nurse would expect the doctor to order which type of medication in which drug class? A, antimanic, B, antipyretic, C, anticholinergics, or D, anticholinesterases. I decided to make this question a little more challenging and use names, that all started with A, so you really need to know the exact name of the drug class. However, let's go through each of them and you will be able to see which one is the right answer. A, anti-manic, is used for treatment in manic episodes for patients with bipolar and manic depressive disorder. B, 
antipyretic reduces fever. And C, anticholinergics is a medication that blocks the neurotransmitter. And D, anticholinesterases, acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, which inhibits the acetylcholinesterase enzyme from breaking down acetylcholine. This is the exact medication class for patients with myasthenia gravis, and it is something that needs to be committed to memory. As you can see, this can be confusing. Next question. The nurse knows that the client has proper understanding of the disease process by which of the following statements? Select all that apply. First option, I should pay attention to the consistency of food that I have difficulty swallowing. Next option, I will make sure I wear a mask around my friends if they have the flu. Next option, I should avoid foods that I have a difficult time swallowing. Next option, I can help my friends who have a diagnosis of depression. And last option, if I have difficulty breathing, I should relax and take a nap. When answering questions that are select all that apply, you have to go through them one by one. In the first question, I should pay attention to the consistency of food that I have difficulty swallowing. This makes sense because the major complication of this disease is difficulty swallowing and different consistencies of food can be harder to swallow than others. The second response, I will make sure I wear a mask around my friends that have the flu, is definitely important because clients with myasthenia gravis will be on immunosuppressant therapy, which will lower their immune systems. The third response, I should avoid foods that I have a difficult time swallowing, is similar to the first statement and also is true. And the fourth response, I can help my friends who have a diagnosis of depression, is not correct because clients with myasthenia gravis need to find ways to lower their emotional stress because stress can bring on a crisis. And the fifth response, if I have difficulty breathing, I should relax and take a nap. This is definitely not the answer because this could be a sign and symptom of a crisis or brought on by an overdose of the patient's medication regimen. All right guys, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and post a comment and let me know what your thoughts were. And also, if you don't mind, if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. You can subscribe by clicking the button here. And anyways, I can't wait to see you guys again soon. I love you, bye. If you're, it'll just make it that, it'll on, that way, Anticholinesterase drug. Emuglobin is inf emuglobin is is infused. A. The client needs rest. The client A. C. The client states that they will have difficulty closing. C. Or D. The client states that myasthenia gravis with myasthenia gravis. And C. Anticholine and C. Anticholinergics is an anticholinesterase is an is an. Acetylcholinesterase inhibitor.